Hey everybody, welcome back to Lost Odyssey, where last time we got through half of the Great Ancient Ruins, as well as got our magic locator upgraded by opening up this chest here, and we placed the last little thingy over there. It's kind of nice that we get two things done in a row, but we're not quite done here just yet. We just have about half of this place left to go, and unfortunately, it's another splitting up puzzle. Not really too much I could do about that, but thankfully enough, they split up our party in a way that's still convenient. So now, how should we go from here? Hmm, we go here and move that plate there. Oh, but then that would screw that up. Going the other way wouldn't work either. Hmm, looks like every path leads to a dead end. Oh, well, there's gotta be some way. Let's split up again. Yeah, we have a split up party once again. It's the same setup as before, so you don't really have to worry too much if you have everything set up in a good way in order to just learn things. Which in this case I do, so it's not a big deal. We have two pathways. Either or, doesn't matter, just pick one and go. So, my duty is to try to figure out exactly where to go from here. In this case, I can't do anything over here. Looks like I gotta push that down. So that's not a good start. So we might as well actually make our way around this way instead. Because we can do something here. We go over here, and now we notice that, hey, we need to have Seth's party go and activate this switch. Can, can, there we go. Yeah, you can tell it's a really big puzzle this time around. I, I hit the A button. There we go. <laughs> that was weird. And that makes this party move over there. There we go. And thankfully enough, they gave me control right away. So let's head over here and grab this treasure chest over here. This should be five dragon scales, I believe. Yep. Good to go. Thankfully enough, this area isn't complicated when it comes to items. All right, not a big deal there. Same enemies as before, nothing special. So let's head over here, because we can head down this way. Way that way we can go, and away that way we can go. Let's head over this way first. Nothing, but there is a treasure chest down there, so good to know. Good to know. It shows us that there is another treasure chest. Let's head this way. Uh, looks like we have no other option here, so let's... Alright, so let me actually operate this and get on this thing. It's funny that this one I could operate and then move onto the platform, considering that, like, the other one, you can... I feel like you could just reach over and hit it. But, uh... Semantics. You kind of have to do video gamey things to do video gamey things. Alright, anything over here? Nope. I always think there's, like, a chest or something in some of these areas, but there never really is. And then, another way down. Which, this one is not activating for some reason, so it looks like we need to find a way to activate this. So let's head back over here and check out if we can do anything over here. That's still a no. So this way is a no-go. There has to be something we can do. Let me zoom out my map and see. Still no. Looks like we might need to get up there somehow. So we need to kind of go back and forth between the two until we actually find out what to do. In this case, can't do anything here. There is a thing there. Might as well just head back up for now. This is what happens. You miss one little pathway, and then you realize, hey, I could have pushed this off way earlier. I was at the end with them, so I might as well head all the way back down there. And now that I have them situated, I'm actually going to swap right back on over, and then take this platform here. All right, now that we can make actual progress, let's kind of head forward and down. Anything over there? Nope. Just making sure. How we need to move this one, we, we actually need to grab this here and drag it along. It's dumb, but it's the only way to activate these because this is basically the power switch. It activates the platform and lowers it. All right, now that that's out of the way, we kind of head over here. Make our way along, and we see that treasure chest that we saw from up above earlier. This one should have the Trookie Talisman. The Trookie Talisman is here. Treasure of the Trookie Tribe, the Trookie Tribe Queen, there we go. If you remember, there was actually the Elmen Crown from earlier, which was the Elmen Tribe King sort of deal. So it's essentially the same thing here, we just haven't encountered one yet. So when that actually comes to pass, we will eventually see it. But for now, we haven't. 
Can I grab this? Can I, can I grab? Hello? There we go. That was weird. And I make our way along here. Take forever to do so. There we go. And down we go. If you're wondering, I zoomed in over there because I was like, is there an item? <laughs> because there's a lot of stuff that I'm like, wait. This one is actually kind of obnoxious because in order to actually move this elevator, we had to pull this all the way there. So, uh, let me just kind of uh, give it a little bit of a helping hand really quickly. And it brings us down once again. Now we don't really have to bother about moving that around. We can't go over there. We have way over there. It has two thingies on it, so we can do stuff with that. Let's check down over here really quickly. Is there, like, a treasure chest or anything that's useful over here? Yep, there's a treasure chest right here, which has the Twin Cross. It's about time we got something. The Twin Cross is double back. Occasionally doubles the counterattack damage. If you have a character that does counterattacks a lot, it's nice to have on. But either way, I'm still going to learn it because why not? There we go. And right over here, as you can tell, is just kind of like a huh? Why is this here? This is where we would see the Tricky Queen if we actually get to that point. But right now, I haven't actually encountered a single Tricky yet. So this is basically the end of the area. We can head down over here and then just kind of see nothing. So our next destination actually is not over here. Let's kind of grab this. There we go. That should activate that platform to go up. So we got to keep that in mind for another group. But we also have another thing we could do, which is back over this way. There we go. That was weird. <laughs> back over here, we noticed that there was that platform that had the two things on it right over here. So if we pull one of these, pull one of these, there we go. It sends it up. Where does it send it up? Hmm, I wonder. If we switch over to this group over here, we notice that it's right here now. So we can kind of just pull this. There we go. And this sends that group downward. So right over here. Make our way along. See a thing that we could pull, but if we head over this way, there is this last chest. This, this last chest, which is refusing to open. There we go. Has a tablet fragment in it. So that's another one down. And we can actually use this to kind of pull over here bring this one down. Which brings us to over here. Well, there we go. We're good there. So now all we need to do is get that other group back in that area. Shouldn't take too long. Am I heading the wrong way? I am heading the wrong way. <laughs> back over this way. Oh, that's actually kind of convenient. I saw the trookies, as well as a Gaia Toad, which is Earth Element. It has a bunch of nonsense on it. But yeah, we want these things to actually steal that thing so we have access to a boss battle. So let's just kind of kill everything in the area that we can. That should do for that. And then I am going to just kind of, what are those things again? They're wind. So, uh, do, 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 do. That's not right. I'm blanking out so hard. I'm blanking out so hard. Whatever, just do, just do Aqua, whatever. <laughs> I keep forgetting the stupid weakness order. It's not Aqua. <laughs>
steal it. Okay, that's not what I wanted you to steal. Thank you. Good. It stole it right away. I mean, I mean, it still lost the full heal, but still, that is good because now I can avoid them from now on out. Okay, let's just let's just end this. Let's just end this. Uh, let's see. You're level two, so I'm just gonna have you do all the attacks on that. You just do anything at this point. Just just kind of do anything at this point. You, on the other hand, I want you to just do anything as well. <laughs> just do something. There we go. That thing's dead. That grits rid of all the GC problems. So now I can just go in and bam, and then one more bam. That's overkill. Only one of the swings needed. It's not in my nature to lose. There we go. So now we actually can head over there and fight the thing if we wanted to, now that I think about it. I might need to reload the area, I'm not quite sure, unless it's already over there. Yeah, I probably need to reload the area. That's fine. Uh, where am I going? That's not this way, it's over there. It is over there. Give me a second. I'm like blanking out super hard. I gotta go this way. There we go. All right. There's you and you. Don't need to pull this. I can kind of just go over here and be like, "Bam, we're we're together again!" Yay! And that should activate this. She gets rid of all the platforms. Everything set up perfect. And we could go through this door. We finally made it. Huh? We made it where? There's some nice treasures hidden at the top of this tower. Let's go get them. Before that, <laughs> let's head back inside. Because, back over here, the Trookie should be there. There it is. So make sure that your party is healed. <laughs> Actually healed. There we go, there we go, there we go, you. Probably use a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Just kind of have heavy hitters in your party lineup in this case because you just kind of want to take it out as soon as possible. Hello there. You there. Halt. Why have you come to my palace? Did this foul creature just say something to us? Silence. I am the queen of the Trookie tribe, the ruler of this very land. Insolent humans. How dare you show your faces here at the ceiling our tribe's treasure? What's this thing you're talking about? Your treasure? I don't have the slightest clue about it. I'll not be tricked by your deceit. Surely you know the Trookie Talisman, the great symbol of our fellowship. Yeah, we do. You have it. <laughs> you stole it from us. You cannot escape from my grasp, human. I know you snuck into this palace to steal my treasure, but full of mistake, and also your last. Wait, what? This thing keeps bellowing nonsense in my direction. What the hell does it want? Silence, the talisman my people have returned to me is an undeniable proof of your guilt. Troops, assemble. Show the travel the strength of our fellowship. Looks like we're fighting our way out of this one. Get ready. It's funny because they had the whole thing the whole time. We just kind of took it out of a chest. So technically we actually did steal it. Yeah, the worst thing these things can do is a thing called item blast. Depending on how much stuff they stole from you, they'll do more damage. But also we have an entire front row to deal with, which is annoying. So we can just kind of get rid of them as soon as possible. I do have Toa in my party, so that's also nice. So I can kind of just do, uh, where are you? Where are you? Cut down, cut down. There we go. Just kind of blam, 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 blam. And then I could have you do anything. What is their weakness? They're, they're fire. So I'm looking for water here. So well, water, please. There we go. And you ignore defenses. So I'm just going to kind of go in there and shoot. So bam. One down. So again, worst thing that could happen is item blast. But counters are still really good here. One? Okay, totally okay with that. That could have been a perfect. There we go, item blast. The only, ow, that was from one item, really? Oh, it's still a full heal, that's why. That could have been better. But this should do it. It only has 207 health left. At least the front enemy does. 
There we go. One enemy left. So we can just go in there, guns blazing. Which uh, sounds like a great idea. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's just kind of... Sure. Mm. Uh, yeah, that sounds good to me. And then since it's just aqua base, I'm just going to do this. There we go. And then shoot it. Awesome. <laughs> that was a little better. All right, so what is your health at? Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Just everybody attack. It doesn't matter what you do. Technically, we killed it, but we didn't actually kill it. Gives us a sorcerer's bracelet, which is nice. We get dull back and composite magic and the thing you said. No, no, that's fine. Our talisman is back. Kato's not able to bring us victory. Is this the extent of our fellowship? Oh, just hold on for a moment, would you? We have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, but you must know the tricky talisman. My own hands, I granted this talisman as a symbol of fellowship to a sorcerer who fought by our side long ago. It's been centuries and the sorcerer has yet to return, but our fellowship never fades and you fools tried to take it away from him. Centuries. I hate to break it to you, but he's probably got to be dead by now. Monster must have been waiting for the sorcerer to return since the time when this place was thriving with people. The queen, is it possible that your dear friend has already passed away? People of this world do not live for so long, I'm afraid. Lies, you conspired to deceive me again! She's telling the truth. Go outside and see for yourself. This nation has been in ruins for centuries. Is that so? Then my friend is no longer alive. I shall place my trust in you then, humans. I have no reason to hate you any longer. Farewell. She's gone. She's been waiting for centuries. Even if the sadness fades, the loneliness will still be there. It's fate shared by anyone who outlives another. Better get moving too. Stolen items recovered. That's nice. Took care of that. But we did get the sorcerer's thing from it, so that's cool. <laughs> so the sorcerer's bracelet. MP max up three. All right, that's good. I'm gonna have time to learn it first because he um, has nothing else to learn. <laughs> I mean, he kind of does, and I think about it this point cross, so I can and just pop that on there as well. There we go, because he does a lot of counters, honestly. All right, so let's make our way back over here. He's up here. Brings us all the way to the top of the tower. Make sure you are prepared and have some heavy hitters in your party because anything else is not really necessary here. Just as long as you have like somebody able to cast spells, you're, you're good to go. <laughs> like one person that cast spells is fine. Heavy hitters will just make this much, much easier. All right, so let's head on in. That's it. The magic stone! Cook, no! What? Leave this to me. I'm an expert in stoneology. What the? Oh, hmm. That idiot. That's weird. Oh, he's a bumbling amateur. Jensen, don't touch that. Don't touch it? Well, don't we need it? All right, let, let everyone be quiet. Let's see how professional gets this job done. Quiet, please, thank you. You can take notes if you want. All right. All right. We have to silence. Yikes. Ah! You've taken the advantage. Sure. <laughs> All right, the ancient fiend in the keystones. This battle can actually be different depending on how you go about it. There's pretty much two strategies. Kill the keystones and kill the ancient fiend, which it does better spells if you do that, which can kind of be bad unless you pair yourself with like all shielders, all barricades, those kind of things. But I'm not going to be doing that method. I'm actually going to be killing one of the keystones, which is A, which will make it so it doesn't do any physical counter attacks. And then I could just will on the ancient fiend with using physical attacks. I think I should be okay just kind of going at it, no problem. Let's see what we got here. I think I should be okay just doing gamble on it. 
So, uh, yeah, yeah, why not? I'll just, I'll just do gamble. I'll, I'll get rid of one of them at a time. Then, well, that didn't really work out so well. We can get the age, uh, the angel ring from it, so might as well kill it. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's already more than half dead, so again, we might as well just keep at it. So just bam, 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 and then yeah. So how you go about this one really depends on how you want it to go. Do you want to kill everything just around so you have less stuff attacking you, and just have the thing powered up, but it's not really doing much damage overall, depending on what you do. It honestly really depends. But now that its counter thing is gone, which is the biggest issue, it does physical counters with Keystone A and magical counters with Keystone B. So getting rid of physical counters means we can actually attack the thing now. All right, so let's actually attack the thing. The thing being there is totally fine, honestly. It's kind of... Let's see, still has some guard condition, so we can wheel it down a little bit, just so we have enough there. Problem is, I still have magical counter active, because this thing still exists. I'm just gonna whittle it down, and then I'm gonna just kinda go at it. Because again, not gonna be doing as much damage as I want like. I mean, it's fine that they're doing that because I really don't care. <laughs> but yeah, we're not really whittling it down that much. It has spirit magic as its type. So I can do spirit killer now I think about it. What do I got? Uh, I got machine and magic killer on. Uh, I do have enchanted ring, which will be helpful here. But do I have anything better than that? Do I have like, yeah, I have this one right here. Demon King ring. That That's totally fine. I'll just equip that one. And then I have you attack this. What do I you got that thing on, which honestly is not helpful here. But I'm just going to keep it on. I really don't care. You're doing enough damage as is. I'll just have you do three combo. There we go. And then you have the Spire Ring on, which I'm going to switch out for the Enchanted Ring. There we go. Now we're all going to be doing some good damage. And then you just kind of do another gamble. I want the guard condition to be just low enough so we're good there. And this... Sacred. I want something spirit killer related. I think I kind of have them all already on, so I'm just going to kind of just do. Um... Yeah, sure. <laughs> That'll work. So kind of just go in there and shoot it. Much better. A little better. Could be better. Okay, that was terrible. This barely did anything. This, on the other hand, does something. That shifts our formation. And there's no point in bothering because every you know, a couple people have formation paralysis. Thankfully enough, it didn't really affect too many people. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm getting really tired of this thing just existing. So I'm actually going to kind of buff up my stuff while I'm at it. Let's see here. I'm going to do... Hmm. What do I want? What do I want? I have... Generate... Hmm. 
whatever, I'm good. <laughs> just, just attack. Just attack. Uh, yeah, that'll work. And then just shoot at this thing, whittle it down. There we go. Honestly, there are better ways of going about this battle, but I kind of don't really want to tear this thing down too much because if I do, then it starts casting better magic, like I said, but it also casts Lost, which Lost, Lost, Lost to with a T, makes it so it will just eject the party member out of the battle. And it's possible to actually work. Sometimes it just doesn't, but if it does work, that's one party member just gone. So that, that's kind of a problem. So I don't really want to like mess around with that. This thing doesn't really drop anything, so it's not really necessary to kill it. So I can just keep going at this thing. So I'm going to do three combo and just attack. You can do not this thing. And then you can do gamble because it's technically not considered magic. And then this. There we go. There we go. Oh wait, it is considered magic here. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, she has more than enough for that. Okay, that that's fine, I guess. That could not have gone any worse. Alright, how are we doing here? We have it at 4,000. Honestly, we could probably get rid of it really shortly. I'm just gonna have you cast... Uh, just, just Hila, honestly. Here we go. And then just... Just keep attacking this thing. Honestly, I really don't care to get rid of that Keystone. He's, I'm not really using magic. I'm just kind of blasting it out with attacks. Again, this is only one of the possible ways you can handle this battle. I'm just kind of making it easier on myself because I don't want to be dealing with magic. And lost. Plus, I'm doing really well when it comes to actually getting hit anyway, so I don't care. Everybody's getting delayed, so I might just want to do standard attacks. This is fine, it's almost dead. I'm just kind of go after it. I'm even attacking with Sarah. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, this thing's still alive. It's like, uh-oh, <laughs> I exist still. I'm gonna slow down my death. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Only 909 more of those to go. And that's it. There we go, and that gives us the angel ring and the angel feather as well as some extra stuff from just learning stuff from said. Watch out! No, no, whoa, whoa, whoa! You guys, stop it! Look at that. He did it all just to get the stone. You could learn from him. I... See. <laughs> Captain said, can I hold it? I don't know. It's dangerous. It'll explode if you drop it. A little dangerous? I mean, that thing could kill us all. Yeah. Here, catch! Got it! <sighs> Tolton, why didn't you catch it? He, he said it was going to explode! 
Oh, he's hopeless. <laughs> I don't Give me that. Mean. You're welcome. Enough fooling around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't worry about him. I don't think he was breastfed. Well, you get kind of cranky when you're a thousand years old. So before we can actually head back into the Great Ancient Ruins, because we have a treasure hunt hint and the game just kind of kicks us out, which is annoying, we actually have to leave this area and go through this cave, because the moment we do, it's actually going to activate the ship moving along on its own and go into a cutscene. Yeah, I love how the cutscene was like so like frantic about it and then it like switches in the actual gameplay and you're like, wait, what? Now we can actually get off as well and go back to the place because I'm not done there yet. Thank you, game. So right over here. I could have actually just selected the ancient ruins. <laughs> I could have just selected the ancient ruins, whatever. Getting through this place the second time isn't as hard because all we really got to do is just kind of navigate one of the two paths that we took. Every option is available to us now, so it doesn't really matter where we go. So, two items for Mac. It's about time. So we get a lot stronger weapon, as well as HP absorb, MP absorb, and critical up level two. Okay, it sounds good to me. Problem is now we gotta go all the way back out. Because unfortunately we don't get warped out this time. And now that we're done with the Great Ancient Ruins, we should head back over to the Grand Staff Construction Base to turn in that quest that we did for all the magic gauges. So right back in here, we can basically talk to the guy and be like, you installed a gauge by a magic location, right? Thank you. Now we can track power far more accurately. You provide a major service to us. Please take this in exchange. It gives us eight magic staff fragments. Again, not the best reward, but it is nice. Because it could make things like the magic delay rings. I believe it's like the amnesia ring or something like that. So now that we're past the hypercurrent, finally, we can actually finally head back to Nomara. So next time in Azure plays, we're actually going to head towards the bottom left area there called the Terrace Cave. The monies that attacked us in the Great Ancient Ruins actually do something in this place. So that is nice. So we can tackle that one next. See you all then.